proper cranes and hoists should be selected and used for operation according to proper weight when installing the product. On the site, all workers must wear the helmet, obey the command of the site lofting commander, and prepare such tools as electric wrench, crew bar and wrench in advance as required. Assembly of lower corn. Take the installation of a 200 ton combined concrete powder storehouse as an example. Select the sheet of small and middle corns. Take the small corn number A02 as an example. The numbers of the four sheets of middle corn are A02, B02, B02, C02, C02, D02, D02, A02, respectively. Assembly of middle corn. Correspondingly place the adjacent sides of four sheets of middle corn as per A02 for A02, B02 for B02, C02 for C02, and D02 for D02. Insert the sponge rubber strips in center joint. All strips must protrude 5 to 10 cm beyond the workpiece, and then install the boat. The middle corner of split storehouse is assembled completely after four sheets are connected and the boats are tightened. Four sheets of large corn are assembled according to the assembly method of middle corn. Small corn is a single welded part, therefore it is not required to assemble by sheet. A properly connect small corn and hoist tripod, wire rope and fixtures, ensure the hoist tonnage, and then lift the small corn which must align with the flange indication arrow at small mouth end of assembled middle corn. Insert the sponge rubber strips in middle joint, apply the sealant at connection of transverse joint and longitudinal joint, and finally tighten the bolts as well. Lift the combination of small corn and middle corn and use the same method to connect the large corn as one. Well. Apply the sealant at connection of a transverse joint and longitudinal joint. Thus, whole split lower corn is assembled completely. The upper corn is assembled in accordance with the assembly method of lower corn and middle corn. Installation of lower corn and shell. It is not needed to number each sheet of corn upper shell, but each section should be connected by brick masonry. That is, four connection longitudinal joints of the first section are located at the middle of each sheet of the second section. The cross-connection method is applicable for third, fourth, fifth and sixth sections as well as upper corn. The installation joints of a storehouse body shall be also filled with a sponge and a sealant and then bolted tightly. The 
The combination of a shell and upper corners installed in accordance with the installation method of a shell. Installation of lag. Connect each lag flange with the foundation flange of lower cone for storehouse body. Note the direction of bracing connection plates and do not tighten the scrolls. Connect horizontal and a bracing channel onto the lag. Adjust its size. Tighten the belt and then put it on the platform. Installations of feeding pipes, external ladder wells, and green level. Install and weld the feeding pipes at corresponding locations. Weld external ladder according to corresponding direction and then build the rails. Weld upper and lower level bases according to ladder size. Weld the bin at storehouse top and bin opening centers, the ladder exit. Install the arch breaking air base and gas accumulator of lower cone. Installation of a vertical bin. Tighten all bolts of the tank body once before installation of the vertical beam. Bolts may be loose due to a stack of beam and a disturbance of the beam body. When lifting the vertical beam, the beam should be the 13 ton or more should be lifted by more than 50 ton train. In addition, one more than 16 ton train is used to lift the rear lines.